we're in our bedroom today and I wanted, and when I say our, I mean Ben and mine, not ours. You, you understand that, right? <laughs> so um, we're in the bedroom today and we have a piece of furniture coming from the store and I'm so excited to get it. It's going to go on this large wall that I got confirmation. I always felt there was a sliding door here, just the way the room's built. And I got confirmation during our neighborhood meet and greet that this in fact had the slider there. This used to be a sunroom. It had floor to ceiling windows. I do have a picture from the exterior that show that. And it was transformed to a bedroom. I don't even know when I'm going to think maybe the 70s or 80s. I have some paperwork. It might even actually say when that is. I found some old receipts that were given to me. But um, this room's still not done. If you remember, it was dark ceiling, dark wood with baby blue walls. Looked great, but just wasn't for me. So I did paint out the beams in the ceiling and the walls have had two coats of primer on it and the blue still coming through. But I know that's okay because I'm either going to be doing a cozy paint color or I also have a couple wallpapers in mind, but until this piece of furniture comes in and until I decide if these two winged chairs are gonna show, I don't, know if, I don't know if they're in frame or not, but I'll show you after. These wing chairs were purchased for the library when we first moved in. I found them at Ethan Allen on sale. I do love them. They're a fun look. I wanted a little touch of whimsy, but once we started working on that room, I had to move things around and they got shuffled here and they're not part of the vision I had for this room. So I either have to work around those and change my whole idea, which I've had for years. I've got a little mood board going and I'll show you some snippets of those photos if I remember to put them in here. If not, we'll be going over that in another video for sure. Or I kind of change everything and work around the chairs. Um, they're kind of big for the space, but we'll see. We'll, you know, we'll see how it works once the piece of furniture comes in. But this piece of furniture, I'm so excited about. I found it thrifting a year ago in August, and it was for a store prop, but I knew in my mind that it was going to be in this room, in this space, and I just didn't realize it was going to be a year to get here. But I loved the look of it, the store, and it was a great prop, so it stayed there. But it's coming today. Um, Ben's meeting the movers now in North Andover, then it goes to my stepson's, and then we go to Peterborough, and then back here with a bunch of furniture, so we're doing that merge and that purge, or the purge and merge, whatever, but um, that's going to be another day also. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, in this room also, I hung a federal mirror that we've had. It's scooted about in both homes in different areas. I kind of like where it's landed here right now. And I have two sconces for the wall I'm going to try. They're kind of deep when they protrude from the wall, but they were here in the house when we bought it. And I've seen it in a couple different real estate listings for the property. So they've been here and I'm looking forward to seeing how that looks, especially going into the holiday season. Last year we lit candles here and I really liked it. It was nice and cozy and just to read a book, not by the candlelight, but it was just a little extra ambiance. So once this piece of furniture's in, I'm going to finish decorating the house for a little fall tour, but I thought I'd show you this master bedroom as I start progressively working on it and it's going to be a work in progress. Before we go on to the video, a few more things. One, questions regarding the fall in the box moving forward. Oh, I've already been planning. I've already purchased some things to test the taste, the scent, the feel of it. So those are en route. They'll be here hopefully in a week for me to look at things. And then I have a question for you, those who are interested in it this time coming forward for winter or Christmas. Would you like to see, and this is just for some input, I'm gonna to have to make the final decision here depending on what everything looks like, but would you like to see more of a prepay to save your space for the box that will come out probably just before Thanksgiving or shipping the week of Thanksgiving if everything comes to me on time? And 
just waiting and knowing that it's paid for, it will be shipped out and you'll get one. And I'm still only going to do probably this time 100 to 150. I still have to limit things because my vendors are small and I need to make sure that they can also supply us. Or do you want me to once again give you a date and time and possibly use my email list this next time? I just have to do a lot of merging of lists and being at the ready when I push that live button. So those are my two options. Having it prepaid and then I'll just send them out when they're already probably that week of Thanksgiving-ish or waiting right to the wire and that might be like the second week of November where we make it live. And remember, it sold out in seven minutes last time and a lot of you missed it. So this prepay thing, it might happen the same way. I don't know. We're learning. We're learning curve here. Um, so that's that. And today's video, like I said, it's just going to be a little bit showing what I've done. I have not been able to do um, a lot, a lot here in the house for fall. Having the movers coming here with things from my in-laws, the store, the house has quite a bit in it right now. I'm trying to find places for things. I'm just trying to get the house together and I don't want to stress out. I just want to relax and enjoy my time here. So let me just go around and show you some things that I've done. We're going to go outside, inside. This is the past week and I hope you enjoy today's video. And here's just a peek at my empty retail space before I follow the moving truck home. So the first piece is in. It looks so small compared to being in the store. It's going to fit perfect. Very excited. Got some room now. Yeah. I got some place to put some linens. Even though Willow barks at all the delivery men, the UPS guy always brings her a milk bone. I think that's so cute. I found these, what I thought were pillowcases, thrifting. Had to have them with the D. It's rare to find the Ds. And I realized when I went to put one on a pillowcase, it's actually a pillow sleeve. I have never heard of that, but it's pretty cool. I'm making my first pumpkin spice coffee of the season. Now, normally I would have done this in the coffee maker, but Ben doesn't like flavored coffees and when he's not traveling, I do a separate pot for myself. 
But a really easy way if you don't want to go out and get pumpkin spice coffee, you can sprinkle a little pumpkin spice right on top of the coffee grounds. You could sprinkle even a little cinnamon right on the coffee grounds before you make your coffee. Tastes just as good. I was this years old to realize that the kettle handle got hot. After going to the New England Made gift show to meet potential new vendors, I finally got to pop into this shop that I found by chance a couple of times. This shop is called The Gathering by Windmill Florist and they are located in Ashby, Massachusetts. I currently have this set on my dining room table too, I'll show you later. Look what's coming home with me. Here is the autumn slash Halloween decor that I purchased yesterday. And I love how they wrapped it up to keep it nice and safe. Now, if I wanted, I could add a couple more things and turn it around so that it is strictly fall. But then you turn it around and it's absolutely Halloween. Over at Twin Elm, when I was clearing out my space, I picked these up. Now, these were in two different vendor spaces. I found one and I said, I wish there was another. And then I did find a second one, a couple booths over. I think I saw these at Home Goods last year, maybe. And I realized, well, they're different color ribbons. I'm going to take the ribbons off and cut them right up the middle and combine the two ribbons together and voila, I'll have a matching set. And the colors work great here at Sugarwood, so that works out. Another thing that I did or found was a spray of some fall leaves and flowers and I put them in the basket here in the butler's pantry. Just a few touches of fall.
Now let's head out and visit our struggling mini orchard. I'm outside with Willow right now and I wanted to check out some areas of the yard. This crazy weather we've had since spring has really messed up a lot with our plants. Now here's my Siberian crabapple tree that got completely broken in one of the snowstorms we had, I think it was May. And when I took you on a tour to the Glen Magna Estate in Danvers, I showed you how they had a tree held up with a tree trunk. Well, this is kind of where I'm thinking of doing it here as well. And possibly on this, oops, and possibly on that strange one. I can see here that one of the limbs that I was hoping would last did not make it. So this um, I'll have to trim a little bit later. But we're losing the foliage here. These beautiful little crab apples are here. And I'm looking at the apple tree that was so beautiful with the red apples. All the leaves died and that's gone. And then we have the apple tree here with the yellow apples that came out, but they're not doing too well. They was, it was doing a lot better. I was checking out just to see if we had some leaves falling yet enough to actually collect. I do wanna work on making a garland this year. I did a leaf garland over at Groton House. I liked it. Oh, well, it was going after apples, but so are the yellow jackets. But I want to try to make another leaf garland this year. And since it does take time, I figured I'd start collecting leaves. And unfortunately, the lawnmower chewed up a lot of them already. But I'm going to go around and start collecting leaves because when they're in a group, it doesn't matter the condition they're in. These are kind of small but I'm just sizing things up right now. This is a proof to myself that I have not been out in the gardens for a while, which is really odd for me, but I was doing so much inside the house this season and I had so many other things going on that the gardens have really just didn't get the love this year that I wanted to give them. But this is the pineapple sage that I planted. Excuse you, Willow, she just burped. This is the pineapple sage that I just planted. And look at the beautiful flowers that are showing up. Let's see if I can get that in bloom. I mean, in focus, there we go. I did fry some sage leaves and I was pleasantly surprised at the taste. Now I haven't done the pineapple sage yet, but so pretty. But yeah, this got huge. I'm just a little bit bummed out that I've let these gardens go so much, but I had other things I was doing. The New York ironweed is starting to pass already. Look what happened to these hydrangeas. So much rain. Um, this was a disappointment this year. I never even had a chance to enjoy them. So they went from white to brown right away. They bent over in the heavy rains, covered the blueberries. But this is all, I'm going to cut all this down, I think, this weekend if we don't get the hurricane that they're talking about. Once again, this weather, crazy. They're saying hurricane or winds and possible tornadoes tomorrow. But the raspberry bushes got overrun. I don't know. Even with the gardens overgrown and weeds at my feet, it's still beautiful. I'm learning to live with some things as they are while I'm doing other things. I was watching another YouTube channel and, oh, we have a hummingbird there. I was just wondering if I would see a hummingbird because of the ironweed. There she went. Um, I was watching a show and she was talking about real simple living. And one of her things was that Instead of multitasking, single tasking. I'm horrible at single tasking. I go, go, go. So I really want to try to focus on doing that because I'm always doing multiple jobs at projects. That's just what I do with my ADHD. Um, but I've been trying to do some things and letting other things go and realizing that this times I'm going to have to ask for help. I did ask for help with the inner gardens here a couple weeks ago before we had our party. And wait a minute, I'm just realizing for the first time ever living in this house, 
wait a second. Huh. We have outlets. One here. How did I never see this before? And one there. I wonder if Benjamin knows that. That's so funny. I'm looking at it from a distance. How could, I've never seen that before. I wonder if they're live. <laughs> anyway, it is beautiful out here. And I'm just trying to enjoy the beauty that is showing. And like I said, ignoring the weeds right now. And I'll get to it when I can. Aren't you looking pretty? You got something on your nose though. Hold on. There we go. I didn't get it. I don't know what she has on her face. Oh. Piece of grass. Okay, got it. She's hot. We're in one of my gardens that I have not shown very much. One reason I got these beauties and I'm grateful to have them. They're air conditioning and heat, but in hindsight, I wish I did all lower ones. But anyways, they're there. I'm gonna to try to make some covers for them next year that can be removed when they have to be serviced. But right now what I'm doing is cleaning up this section that I have let go for far too long. Now, if I didn't edit in a part of a video that I recorded the other day, I was watching another YouTuber. I'm gonna look her up. Um, I think I took a screenshot of her channel. She was talking about simple living and one of the things that really caught my attention is she was talking about single tasking versus multitasking. Now, those who have watched me, you know I am a multitasker. So I am trying to focus on this project as a single task, but I already failed. And let me share how I did that. So my whole goal is to clean up all the weeds here. I'm going to be trimming the boxwood. I'm actually gonna leave the boxwood, I think, because I have used those for Christmas decorating. So I will keep those because I wanna do the potato kissing ball again. And if you haven't seen that, um, I will try to link that below. Try to remember, it is here on YouTube. But the whole goal for me today was focus and single task on this one area because it needs it. I need to cut back this bush here with the thorns. At one point, this will be replaced, but I have to do that. I have been pulling weeds and cutting back some of the tall flocks. I have inkberry to, to reshape. If you remember, I brought this right down to the ground almost this past spring, and look how much it's come back. So I have cleaned up a lot of this area. I think I have more bark mulch that I can put in here. But where I failed, I was gonna just focus here and that's it. Like, true to me, my eyes went elsewhere and I started trimming on the other side of the fence. I was literally reaching over the fence thinking it wouldn't count. But yeah, I, I actually went through the gate and on this side, I started trimming here. One thing, the reason I did that is I wanted to save the rest of these bee balm pods. I'm having them here in the sun right now to dry a bit. My hopes are I'm going to strip the leaves and I will be painting those. I did gold and bronze last year and copper and I tucked them into the Thanksgiving tree. I don't think I saved them. So I'm going to be doing the same with this. But these are also what I use to make the little acorns with the caps and I put them on. Now a lot of these are already past the point. So much rain. Uh, we have a lot of rotting going on. But I'll just use the nice ones and we'll paint those up and use them for decoration on garlands and in the tree. And I didn't even realize this, is they tied up a lot of the tall flocks. So I just found that out today, a week later. And I will be cutting these and clearing these in a while. But everything is starting to kind of press down now. I don't think is, this is from Willow, so we've had something sleeping here or visiting, um, but this is all gonna get cleaned up. Not today, because that is not single tasking. I have to go back over here and do that. So what I'm gonna do right now is I've cleaned up a lot of it and I grabbed my, I call it a scuttle hoe. It's called a D-ring and there's a third name for it as well and I'm drawing a blank on it. But this is one of my, favorite tools. I've shown this before 
and I'm going to use it here on the top part of the gravel and then I will gently rake them up and then clean up this area. I definitely need more pea stone out here. Don't think I'll get it in by this season, but at least this will be prepped and ready to go next spring. I always had a vision when we first moved in to have a little table and chairs out here, but honestly, once these units came in, I was just like, why would I want to look at that? So I'm still going to work on this if I can figure out some sort of surround. I also did a little bit out here. I have some bittersweet here that I wrapped up so that I don't put it in the compost. I'm going to burn that. I even did a little bit out in this area because I figured when I'm approaching this little garden, I wanted this to be nice, neat, and clean. So I have a little bit more to do. I'm going to bring in some bark mulch. I think I have some stone dust. I might even tuck inside this little pathway here just to freshen it up. And I have this wall I'm going to rebuild. With the frost and the snow, it goes in between the stones and just pushes it out. So that's what happened here. I'll probably make it double width so that it doesn't fall over again, or if it does, it will just be a couple. So I might use these larger stones as a base and actually make it wider on this side. Similar to this old barn foundation, it's a lot wider. Now, stones do fall from it, but it has a nice big base. I can't even imagine. This was just one of the two barns. This was, I think, the carriage house from what I was seeing in an old photo but it's huge. It's huge. Um, and then the other barn was over here somewhere. I'm also going to, uh, is this, is this single tasking by taking the tour here? <laughs> I don't know, but we'll break that little rule right now. I'm also going to be cleaning out a lot of this fern. Oh, there's some bluebirds. Love bluebirds. Um, I'm also a little distracted. I'm also going to clean out a lot of the ferns here and I'm going to lay down a path to get to the blueberries next year because I had trouble getting to them. And the ferns are beautiful, but trust me, they can take over and we have so many ferns around here. I'm not gonna be sad to make up a, a path and clean up this because in another video last year, two years ago, let me see, it was when I had my arm in a sling, we found a little stone berm of some sort that had all of these and I want that to show. A little chipmunk going in there. So this won't be, I don't think, anytime soon, but it might be even easier to do this in the spring once the ferns are all grown back and then I can kind of tackle that. Well, that was a quick little ride with Willow. She heard her dad calling her, beelined it. They're going to the dump now. So this is gonna make things so much easier. So much easier.
this area, I've got to tackle it. Underneath here is definitely stones and I want to be able to see them when I step out. The other day it was quite slippery when the movers were moving furniture in and out, so definitely want to clean this up. Well, it's official. The leaves are falling and I'm trying to collect some before the lawn gets cut again. And I'm going to make my leaf garland for around the front door of Sugarwood. Now, it doesn't matter the condition they're in because it won't be seen once they're all together. I will need a lot more than this, but I thought I would just start collecting. I'm just gonna keep grabbing some when I walk in the house. Uh, it's a lot easier when you have a lot that have fallen and you can just rake them together. But since I just wanted to, like I said, get this started, normally I wouldn't walk around picking up one leaf at a time. But if you hadn't seen my past video on how I made the garland, I thought I would show you real quick. And then when it's done, I don't know when that will be, I will show you. Well, I have quite a few. I have them in the buckets. I have some here on the table. I'm gonna store these on the porch because I'm not gonna have time to do this today, but maybe I'll have some time on Sunday to start working on this fun project and see what happens. I thought I would give you just a quick update of the work I did the other day. Now, I still need to trim these boxwoods and bring in pea stone probably next year, but it is all cleaned up. Now, before you shame me on what the trees look like around the door, I did this on purpose. And let's go look and I will explain why. I over trimmed them on purpose. I realized that since I wanna probably take these out next year, I brought them way down. Also, once I started to trim them, it was a lot of dead wood. I mean, it was rotten and dead wood underneath. So I decided to go smaller and these might leaf out a little bit more before the season changes, but I'm not expecting them to. If anything, the leaves will drop and I'll probably even shape it a little bit more, but I went at it. I just went at these and I'm so glad I did. I even pulled out the large clippers for a lot of the bigger ones. Now also, if I decide to keep these, I will just let them grow out a little bit. I wanna keep them away from the house, but we'll let some shape grow here, and I might just keep them small, I don't know. But i am it feels so much different out here, and I really like it. So my hopes are to get some pumpkins out here, some corn stalks possibly, because this area, we do see it from, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six of the rooms from our house. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. So, you know, doing this area over is definitely something that I'm glad I got this project started. Today, it's another gorgeous day. It is Sunday morning. You're gonna be seeing this video if you're watching Sunday soon. Ben is heading out for golf, and then we are going to go in search of hopefully a new place to go buy pumpkins and corn stalks and cider donuts. If we don't have one, we have some of our old standbys that we do enjoy visiting, but we want to start searching out places that are close to us. While I was heading out for the tea and sunset, I realized I match my car's interior. That was totally not planned for this evening. But I also don't remember if I mentioned that the outfit I was wearing at the beginning of this video was all thrifted last year. 
I want to thank you for joining me today. And if this is your first visit, thank you. I hope you enjoyed your time here. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And that thumbs up would really help me out and make me happy. Bye now.